Good. Okay. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, we're here for the Merritt uh, Union Free School District board meeting. We were attempting to simulcast over YouTube. We're having some technical problems, so we're going to begin the meeting. We'll record it and post the whole of it um, after that, and hopefully along the way, someplace, we'll get the live streaming going. Okay, board president. Okay, I'd like to call the meeting to order. And if everybody will rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge of Allegiance to, to the flag of the United okay. States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Please be seated. <coughs> Okay. I'd like to request to modify the agenda to video for the purpose of this meeting. So a motion to do that. Motion. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, so that was Gina who, who uh, motioned and then Linda who second, Clarice. Okay, thank you. Okay, then um, before we get into the heart of the meeting, I just wanted to take a moment to express on behalf of the Board of Education, our extreme thanks um, to the administration, central office, teachers, faculty, custodians, and all of our um, faculty throughout, throughout our district and in the neighboring districts for their hard work and dedication to the Merrick families and all of our students and children. We know how difficult this time has been and we appreciate uh, all of your continued hard work and uh, we will get this through this together uh, most uh, through this most difficult time and also a shout out and a huge deep deep gratitude thank you to all of the first responders and um, the health um, people on the front lines, the doctors, the nurses, all of the people that work in the medical facilities, uh, thank you for all that you're doing to save lives and putting yourselves in harm way, harm's way. Sorry. So we wanted to just, on behalf of the Board of Education and our administration and our community, we wanted to say thank you. I'd also like to um, ask that we have a moment of silence to extend our deepest condolences to our community uh, the people who have lost loved ones or friends or anyone, and also our prayers go out to all who are battling with the Corona-19 virus. Okay, thank you. Um, I'd like to move the motion to approve the minutes of the Board of Education meeting on March 16. Motion? Gina? Muted, Gina. Gina, you're muted. I, was doing, I thought Linda was doing Linda it. Linda was doing the second. Oh, okay, motion. Second. And I, I Linda, second. All in favor? Aye. Great. Motion to move the treasurer's report. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, Linda, I know you had some questions on the statement of paid claims. I know they were answered. So thank you to Jennifer and Sal for all of those answers. So yes, motion thank to move you. the statement of paid claims. Motion. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay. Uh, congratulations to Andrea McCabe, teacher at Chatterton School, on the birth of her son, James Henry McCabe. And condolences to Dor Doreen Lynch, teaching assistant at Birth School, on the passing of her father in law, Michael Lynch. That brings us to hearing of visitors on any items in the superintendent's report, which, Dr. Palmer, I don't believe we have any, correct? I'm looking at the email address. There are none for the superintendent's report. There are two that we can do in the later hearings. Okay, so Nancy, superintendent's report? Yep, I'd love to make a motion to- um, I'm sorry, to, before, before you 
you know, I just want to mention a couple of things in the superintendent reports. First of all, I'd like to, to thank the whole Merrick staff. Uh, people have been doing an amazing job delivering an instructional program that, you know, if you would have asked me a month and a half ago, I thought could never happen. So I, I'd like to thank the administrators, the teachers, the teacher and assistants who are in support, the custodians that are keeping the buildings open, and really everybody who's been working really hard. I'd also like to thank the parents of the community. This has got to be amazingly difficult transitioning to the chaos of your life while we're still pushing out an instructional program for your children. Your dedication to your children is amazing. Thank you really very much. Uh, in the superintendent's report, I wanted to make note that there's the, um, an item for the adoption of the budget for the 2020 2021 school year budget. Um, we've been building that budget for months. It was originally developed on the premise of the funds that the governor proposed for state aid back in January. That's usually a very conservative number to place to build a budget off of. Unfortunately, because of all the financial woes that have followed this whole crisis with the coronavirus, uh, the governor and the legislature adopted a budget that is with a substantially reduced level of state aid. So we are down $355,000 off of the governor's proposal. It basically leaves us with either flat or slightly reduced aid from year to year. Um, we look back at this budget and we were able to make some simple adjustments in order to balance the debt. The original plan had us reducing the amount of the uh, applied fund balance as we go forward uh, by $250,000. It would be a great long-term plan to do that, but because of this crisis, we're not gonna make that reduction. So in the upcoming school year, we're going to move forward the same amount of fund balance as we do annually. That'll take up 250,000 of the 355,000. Um, the, the rest of the money, um, I'm sorry, it's 235,000. The rest of the money, approximately $85,000, we've uh, spread out through the budget. We've done reductions throughout the budget. The bottom line is we're still able to produce a budget that'll stay within the tax levy cap. And also at the same time, we'll deliver all the same services we had to deliver this year and maintain all of our staff. So I think it's a good solid budget um, despite the times. So that's an item in this agenda. I want to bring that to your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to make a motion to approve items 9A, 1 through 9. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I believe B1 administration is for information only. Recognition of a staff member. Carrie Sibella yes. receiving her doctoral degree from St. John's University. Congratulations. 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 I'd like to make a motion to approve items E1 through 7. Jen. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And that brings us to second hearing of visitors. Okay, so we have uh, our first email, um, uh, Donald Lee. Um, I and many other Merrick parents were shocked and appalled when we heard the district's decision to stop paying the Guardian Bus Company during this crisis. The bus drivers are as much a part of the community as the teachers, administrators, custodial staff, and support staff. We entrust our children's lives to them every school day. In our opinion, there is no logical reason why we would hold these payments thereby forcing our bus, driver, bus drivers out of work and without benefits should they be affected by this crisis. Other districts on Long Island have taken the decision showing support for the, have not taken the decision showing support for the bus drivers to do this. According to the budget, there's $1.4 million earmarked for transportation. Please, uh, can you please let me know why the money is not being used to pay the bus drivers and if not, what are you doing? Um, if you don't mind, board, I'll respond. Uh, basically, uh, we are actually paying the bill through March. Um, our attorneys, similar to the attorneys in many districts, have advised that the contractual arrangement does not call for us 
to pay for services that are not delivered, that we have to adjust uh, the bills to the time. So we are paid through March. We'll reevaluate in April. And it's really important to this board and to me that the bus companies take the step of applying to the Small Business Association um, loan that would support up to eight weeks of payroll for, for these bus drivers and the other staff of the bus companies. And that loan, after they successfully pay their employees, I believe converts to a grant. So it's our hope that Guardian and some of the other bus companies that we work with are taking those steps and that when we're ready to return from school, their employees have been paid throughout and they're ready to drive our buses. Um, we have a second um, email and that is from Nicole Venditti. Nicole is our SEPTA president. She writes, I hope uh, you are all safe and well. Thank you for the district for implementing distance learning as fast as possible and continually adapting to this new environment. We have received mostly positive feedback from the SEPTA community. And the general feeling is that our administration, teachers and staff are working very hard and doing their best to serve the best interests of the children. And that's our last comment. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Mendoza. Great. Thank you. Um, so reports of Merrick, Elmore Merrick Central High School District. Um, you had said there are no, no reports, correct? You wanna, Gina, you're on mute. You're mute. There, um, we met last week. Um, we had a Zoom meeting um, last Wednesday. The, um, administration and the entire staff at the Belmont Merrick District are working very hard to keep our kids in the swing of things and with education and teaching them every day and and gym class and everything and and it all so um, they're also very good at communication with the parents so there have been a lot of emails going out every step of the way so everybody's informed and we're always available to answer any questions Nancy anything to add to that I would just add that if anybody has any questions regarding, you know, a teacher, their child, please reach out to the building principal. They are accessible, answering emails um, immediately. So please reach out to those um, those people. Yes. Great. That's it. Thank you, ladies. Um, legislation, Linda. Things are pretty much at a standstill. Negotiations are continuing and continuing and continuing, considering the crisis going on, uh, things have slowed down. Great. But they will get there. Um, reports of any other, any other reports for any board members? I, I do wanna just um, also mention to, to thank you to Jill um, and to Brooke Jones, who have put together uh, tremendous efforts in supplying food to our first responders and our um, local uh, hospitals, not so local, and they've gone all the way out to the North Shore. So I'm watching that we went uh, every to day. Today. It's, it's really unbelievable what you guys have put together and how this community has uh, come together to contribute. It's, it's unbelievable. So thank you so, so much for all of your efforts and what you're doing. It really Great is. Great to today, Jill. Why? Where did you go today? Uh, we had two deliver two deliveries in Queens. Wonderful. And right now we actually just had one at NYU in the city. But I just want to say, I, thank you, thank you for that cigar. But I also want to say, this is another one of those times where you really say, you know, this is a great place to to live and to raise a family mm -hmm. and to be a part of because. We have raised over twenty-five thousand dollars in two wow. weeks, and that is literally just from donations from our very own community members wow. in Memphis and in Belmore. And it's it's very impressive how this this community continues to always rise when they need to. Jill, what's the best way to donate? Uh, Venmo. Venmo is the best way to donate. But people that don't have Venmo, they can just uh, get in touch with with Brooke or I on Facebook or text and. Wow. So we can and then also to join the group, the Belmore Merrick Helping Our Heroes group. And we, we do a lot of this just by message on Facebook. It's amazing. Okay. Great. Unbelievable. Thank you very, very much. Um, anybody else have any other reports they want to um, make? 
just want to follow up to all on on how you kind of began the meeting which is just giving thanks um you know th this has been you know just an incredible transition um under difficult circumstances and I think our district, um, Dom, a credit to you and the staff and all of the teachers that have put in, you know, endless hours and efforts to make sure our kids and families are being attended to. I know our mental health professionals are reaching out, having conversations, um, and everybody is really doing the best they can. And as Jill said, this is one of those moments in time where you say to yourself, this is the greatest community anybody could ever want to be a part of. And a lot of that is attributable to our, our staff and our, our teachers. So Absolutely. thank you. Thank you. Um, anyone else? I think we're all mimicking those <coughs> sentiments. So um, it's really, it's re it's really am an amazing community. Um, okay, any other new business? Dr. Parma? Nothing new. Nothing new. Okay. Old business. No. There too. Okay. I'd like to uh, call, make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor. All right. Everybody have, have a good night. Have a great night. Night, 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 everybody. Right. Bye. 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 Thank Bye. you, Brendan. Thank you.